YouTube, Electric Adventures here with the cat assistant today. Uh, we're having a special look at a new homebrew game for the MSX range of computers. It's an MSX2 game uh, called Tiny Magic. Um, now, as you can see by how colourful it is, it's actually for MSX2s and greater. Um, it has been available on cartridge, but um, their first batch sold out really quickly. Um, they have uh, continued on and they've done a slightly enhanced version which they have kindly sent me to have a look at because obviously I missed out the first lot and they'd like to see me play the game and I'm very excited to be able to play the game myself. Now, um, it's gone into a bit of a demo, it has wonderful music, sound and colours and it's a puzzle game which I absolutely love. So let's have a go at playing it and this is my, um, other than just making sure it worked, I haven't played the game at all so first looks. So let's see how we go. And using my new capture setup too, so we get nice 60 frames a second. So it's got this nice interlaced um, boot logo as well. Just wait for it to properly do the intro so you can listen to the music. Okay, so we can start a new game, you can continue with a passport, password, there's a couple of options and uh, the controls. Um, so you, you can get abilities and play spells, you don't get that in the first level. Um, so you place a button and change a bubble side by holding it down. Uh, to space a bubble, I think pushes a bubble, or play a dead spell. I haven't encountered that, but I said I just fired it up to start at the first level to um, see how we go. Now we've got F1's pause, F2 is enter a password, um, F3 cap, I'm not sure about that. Um, F4 is power, switch between power and NTSC, we're playing on an NTSC machine here. F5 is die, and uh, you can use the backspace key to one, which is quite good. But let's just play it from the start. Now it's got a little bit of an intro story. Now while the intro story is playing, I did have a little trouble running this because I don't have um, um, a proper, you know, external sound card. I've got a Philips um, Music, but that's the wrong type of card supported by this game. I do have MSX Music in this MSX2+, Plus, but the one disadvantage of both of the MSX2 Pluses that I have, they only have 64k of inbuilt normal RAM. And this game requires more than that. Um, so I'm actually ended up using, and my Mega Flash ROM does not have the extra RAM, so that didn't help me. Um, but I'm actually using a newer multi card I got recently, which is an SD one, which is great because it's got larger storage. It's the Mapper Mega RAM 512, which is the open source one, but it actually does add RAM to the machine and has two SD card slots and you can turn that RAM on and off. I've just got the default on on with the switches and it works. And we're using a disk image, not a ROM image. Um, the game is huge. It requires a 512K ROM and they used a special mapper. So it works fine when it's on a cartridge, but they hadn't actually tried it, you know, loading on a machine without the actual cartridge. So there's our nice intro story. So, once again, puzzle game. <clears throat> I have played the first screen, so hopefully, uh, my yours, uh, you know, hopefully I won't embarrass myself too much to start with. So we have um, a bit of a path, I suppose, a way to go through. And it looks like there's a couple of side options you can do. And one of the differences over this and the original release was they've added more this tutorial beginner level and a couple of other features here and there. So, so we can go here and we can grab a. That's basically our lives. And we go and talk to the person. And it's got a very nice look. It's very Zelda looking. And a very pleasing soundtrack in the background. They actually also have the soundtrack available as a CD as well. So I'm hoping they come out with a deluxe edition and that I get to buy it at some stage. see me here over in Australia 
bit hard for me to get hold of things sometimes. Okay, so this is our first challenge. So obviously the general idea is we have to open the gate to the next area. And to start with, we've got nothing special, so we need to push the rock to the area. You need to make sure you don't put it in a spot where you're going to get blocked. Like a lot of puzzle games, you can get yourself stuck. So very simple, push it over the pad and we make it through to the next level. There's this enemy kill count, so there's more of that coming up, and it gives us a password, so we can start from here from now on. Um, now, I do find it best to go speak to the wizard to start with, because you can actually get yourself stuck. So, floating pyramids go on the ones with the triangle, and the boulders go on the other ones. And we need to cover both. This is where we need to start thinking about things a little. So, if I push this one up first and put it onto its pad, there's no way I'm going to be able to push this one over onto this one. I can't move it across to the left first because it'll get stuck. So, it's best if we bring this one down first. But then, we don't leave it on there, we push it over one more. Because we need room to do that. There we go, both of those are covered. Now we need to put our pyramid. There. So very simple so far. And notice these crystals appear. And I take it we use them for magic or something later. You've got potions up there as well. You can see our crystal count going up, so we'll also collect those and see what they'll be useful for later. Now, a few more elements. So, a bit more of a tutorial. So we could just use our spells now. Drink a potion and obtain enough magic water. Yeah. Press the trigger one to initiate the spell and create a magic bubble. Yeah. The bubble will then explode and push any object next to it Pyramid only left, you can move it by placing a bubble above the water. Yeah. Rocks can also be moved that way. So let's go give it a try. And you see we've got a potion count up the top there. So each one of these gives us five. All I do is put a bubble there, it'll blow up, explode. All very simple, getting us used to the mechanics. That's great because you know, even silly people like me can make some progress. All right, so a helpful uh, wizard's gone now. Perhaps more potions. What's this? Press the M or N key to or trigger to to move bubbles or a pyramid. Okay, it's like an information thing. Okay, so we can't push it any further, right? Nothing too hard to start with, <laughs> which is probably a good thing. Okay, so it's starting to get a bit more complicated. Let's go read our thing first. To undo your move, press the backspace key here. So if you make a mistake, up to 15 steps. Okay. 
Now, where do we need to put this? We need to get this... Yeah, I get the idea. Okay. I can't push it any further, so we put a bubble. And you can speed it up like that. And we want to go up here. Pick up there. Okay, let's go read our instructions. Three roads to your success patience, meaning, and strength. Okay. So there's a boat. Oh, so we've actually got a maze. Ha ha! I need to get that one out of the way. But when you can't put it down on the line there. Oh, watch me try and figure these things out, eh? You need to be able to get back so you can push it up. But if I push it up now, then I can't push it to the right. If I push it to the right, I can't move it. And if I push it too much further over there, how do I get it back? This is probably far too many questions. Goodness me, I can't be stuck already, can I? Come on, brain. Push stones with bubbles. <laughs> Does it reset? No. Oh my goodness. Right, so we're going to have to... This area. Need to go back a step. Alright, well, we'll go get our lives and just go and have a look. Yes, yeah, so we've got a fair bit to actually explore now. full traps. So in this case you need to use the stones to 
um, actually fill in the passages so you can go through. We'll progress. I will come back and figure out some of those other parts another time. That's what I don't get. As soon as I put... Oh, it's timing. Right. So if I put a bubble there... See how long it takes? Yeah, okay. How do you do that? Because I can't. Ah, right, so that one takes even longer. Yeah, now I get it. Okay. You have to forgive Electric Adventures dumbness sometimes. But I do love puzzle games. So what we need is the longest one there, the short one there. Satisfaction when you finally work it out. And we're ready to get some more bubbles. There we go. So there we go. If I can work it out, you guys can work it out. Right, we've got some things in the way, we've got some bubbles. Let's grab all those 
bubbles. Well, if we just put something there, surely. Oh, I see. Oh. Had no idea there was one there. And now I've messed it up at the moment. But that's okay. Oh, there's another one there. Oh. And here I was thinking I could just put that one there and then we'll be right. Oh yeah, no, I've messed up royally. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, so now we know there's one under there, one under there, and they are actually, if we look closely, they are actually pictured. So I'm just being a bit thick today. But we need to work out a plan of attack. If we move that one down, oh, hang on, we can move this one across to that one. That's where, that's where that one definitely has to go. And I think this one we need to move over here and we put a bubble there to knock it down to cover this one. And then what are we going to use to cover this one? Well we can use this one, push down, yeah, okay. Yes, okay. Apologise to the creators of the game for them screaming at the screen for how long it's taken me to figure things out, but it definitely gets the great matter going. Yo! <laughs> right! Now we have a pyramid, we have a hole in the ground. Have some more bubbles. We need to get the pyramid all the way up there. And we need to use a rock to fill in the hole. Now, where's the best place to... We need to put that in that hole, and then you can push that through there. Okay. Oh, no, that was wrong. While we're going past, we'll read this. Yep, 
じゃあねえ Have we made a fatal mistake? Well, we have bubbles. Yes. Okay. So, I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're enjoying this. This is, this is a thoroughly enjoyable game. Um, I'm happy to keep going too, so I'll also have a nice session. Oh, we've got a, an in between room, we've reached an uh, area, that's interesting. <laughs> then once we go through, we are stuck. There to push that down, but that'll also push this other one over the other side. One more time, I don't need to use an explosion, do I? Right. Think about your bubbles, isn't that right? for a minute. Once again, people are probably screaming at me that there's an easy solution, but uh, One of them seems to be in a dirt hole. Wonder whether you can move that one or not. Um, right, push that over there. Oh, 
I didn't mean to do that. At least you can do it. Ah. I'm getting carried away with pressing directions. Right. Getting the sequence right, isn't it? All right, I'm going to save my um, you know embarrassment at not working this out time for a little later for me to knuckle down and continue enjoying this fantastic game. This is a really, really good puzzle game. There've been so many great puzzle games lately, and when you add the extra effort of making an MSX2, which makes them allow them to make them look lovely, um, wonderful add-on sound. And as I said, this is an absolutely massive game. Um, I don't know how many levels there are, but there seem to be an, an awful lot of them. Um, I'm obviously stuck here, but I'll just, you know, I'll go back and I'll restart in a second. I'll have another go. But I hope you have enjoyed as much as I have having a look at this wonderful game, Tiny Magic. And um, thank you very much to the authors for allowing me to show this to you all. And what we want to do is drum up support for the game so that um, the publisher, Code Gamers, do another run. And I reckon they should do another run of the Enhanced Edition. And, um, you know, maybe Soundtrack Bundle or something like that would be really, really cool. Alright, um, I'll put links down to the where the game is on Code Gamers. That's it. It shows as sold out at the moment. But if enough people express interest, you never know. Um, and go check the publishers out as well. I'll give a link to their um, supporting website for this game as well. Alright, I'm Electric Adventures. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.